Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. How are you? I'm great. It's nice to see you again via satellite. <laughs> well, thank you. It's so nice to have you in my home. Oh, I call my radio you. show. My audience is so excited when I talk to you. They say we have such good chemistry. We and do. Such, and you bring such good information. So it's summertime. What do you got some of the home decor hottest pit? Well, you know, I always have a ton of great ideas going on, and I am ready for summer. So I'm going to start big and work my way down. How does that sound? Sounds good. I okay. Well, good. Well, one of the things that I love to do that I think adds a fresh breath of air into the house is an accent wall. So instead of painting every single wall in the home, just give it a little new life by doing one wall. And it's really important when you're doing an accent wall to prep properly. So I will usually use Frog Tape Painters Brand Tape because it has that paint block technology. So basically, <coughs> once you lay it down on your trim, baseboards, moldings, what have you, you're going to get a nice crisp clean line every time and that's because once the paint hits it it creates a nice seal on the edges you know how important that is because you don't want your paint to look messy you want it to look like the pros did it so that's yeah. one I thing tell you, people want to kind of skip that you can't skip yeah that no yelling. so true it's like the biggest thing that people always it's a misconception they think oh i can just do that i'll skip the step don't skip the step but then it goes into what color am I going to paint this accent wall? It's so hard to choose because there's about 90 million different colors to pick from. So how do you pick that perfect one? On, uh, you know, this strip, there's like a paint deck and it has about six or seven different colors on that one strip. You're going to find the color that matches your wall. It's a great information to the table and, oh. and we'll get into why you know everything. Well, thank you so much for saying that. Well, you know, I've just become a big lover of this next idea. And this is something that is so easy to do. I mean, Valder, we've seen distressing all the time. And you know I've been doing this for a long time. But this is a new tip that I just discovered, and I'm obsessed. So everybody has a little of this lying around their house. It's petroleum jelly. And what you're going to do is dapple it right onto the edges of a frame. You know, you could put it in here. You could do it on furniture. You can literally distress just about anything. Once you get the petroleum jelly on there, you're going to paint over it. Let the paint dry completely and then use like a grocery shopping bag or a rag and just blot off the petroleum jelly and it gives you this awesome distressed look. You're going to end up distressing everything in the house, I'm telling you. You'll get addicted like I did. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to do that. You know you do. You do one thing when you learn something and you, the whole house looks <laughs> Totally, bad. right? You're going to have this complete shabby chic looking home. Another... I'm excited because that's yeah. so expensive to buy just a frame or a piece right. of like well, you know, and it could be a piece that you already have in your house. You might already have some old paint lying around. And, I mean, come on, we all have some petroleum jelly lying around. So this project could be practically for free, you know? It's so great. Now, did I, I love that. Yeah. And did I tell you when we were talking before about artwork? Because artwork is so important. And I feel like sometimes it can be very overwhelming for people. So... This over here is a canvas that I use frog tape painters tape on. And you know I love that stuff because of the clean lines you get from that paint block technology. Basically, once the paint hits the edge, there's a micro barrier. So that micro barrier seals it. So when you pull the painters tape off, you're going to get a crisp clean line. And that's what's going to be the difference between, hey, I painted this myself versus, oh yeah, it looks like I got it from an art gallery. So 
This one is geometric shapes, very hot, very in right now. If you did black and white, that's very modern. You could do pastel colors, maybe a baby's room. You could do bright, bold colors for a kid's room. And this literally took me like three to four minutes to tape up this board. I did one over here too that looks like a mosaic tile. It was sort of inspired by mosaic tiles. So lots of fun ideas that you can do there. That is, I gotta take a Facebook question for you, Tanya. Sure. And this Facebook question comes from, uh, Bellamy. I think it says Bellamy. Anyway, yeah. she wants to know, can she use the Vaseline technique on uh, a mirror that she has, but she wants to use spray paint? Well, so the mirror may not work as well because the Vaseline will just kind of wipe everything off. So listen, I would say try it. Give it a shot. See if you can do a, like a little test one first. Um, and I'll tell you, Valder, this is like a new thing that I've just learned, so I haven't tested it out on Mirror yet, but it's certainly worth a shot. Okay, so great question. Hopefully that helps you believe. All right, then. Yeah. Well, Tony, you brought all these good ideas. You got one more for me before I let you go? I do. <laughs> right over here in my hand. I love this one because this is all about the repurpose. Taking an old tray, whether it's a vintage silver one, like from a flea market find, or one that's like more casual like this, putting chalkboard paint, using a chalkboard pen, and putting your menu. So you can hang this on a fence for a backyard barbecue. You could lean one against the wall. I actually did this great cheese board over here where I wrote in the different cheeses. Chalkboard paint. It's so easy. And that is a great idea. Oh, especially as I'm redoing my patio. I like that. I, oh, good. I'll take that personally. That's a <laughs> great one, Tanya. Great. Tanya, if we want to know about uh, more keeping up with you, what you're doing, and these products, where would you send us? Well, there's two places you can go. One is frogtape.com, and you'll find all kinds of inspiration and great ideas. And if you want to keep up with me, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the whole nine, and it's just Tanya Nyack. So, at Tanya Nyack. <laughs> All right. For your inspiration by yourself, Tanya Nyack. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the Belder BB Show. It always makes my day. Oh, me too. Great to, well, I was going to say see you, but I can't see you. You can see me. <laughs> well, great to talk to you. I'll great talk to talk you. To you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.